You ever watch, uh, what's it called, Christmas Carol? Yes, many different versions of it. Every right. single one. Ghost of Christmas Past? Mm -hmm. Well, that's Movie Pass. <laughs> and Movie Pass is <laughs> back, baby. It is done. Now, we talked about this a, a couple months ago that the original creator of Movie Pass, who was not the one in charge when it got run into the ground, but the original guy who was controlling and was running Movie Pass, he actually got control of the defense, defunct and bankrupt company back. And he said that they were going to bring it back. Now, that was months and months and months ago. And it's like, that's nice to say that. But apparently it's happening now. They've come out and they've made the announcement that on September 5th, they will be opening a waiting list for people to <laughs> sign up to see if you get lucky enough to be one of the few selected to try it out. <laughs> now, apparently, there's going to be three tiers. There's going to be a $10 a month tier, a $20 a month tier, and a $30 a month tier, none of which will offer unlimited movies, which, of course, is smart. <laughs> it's a smart thing to do. Now, there are not a lot of details were offered other than that, other than the fact that your monthly subscription will get you credits. Those credits can be used to exchange for movie tickets and things like that. How many theaters it'll be available at, how widely this will be available, will there be blacked out movies? All these are details we don't quite know yet. Now, the CEO came out and did say that he said, look, we're not going to get it all right. We're, we're going to make mistakes coming out of the gate. This is going to be a trial by fire, but we're going to start small with a small select test group that for people in the waiting line on September 5th, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the lucky few. <laughs> the lucky we, the lucky few. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I, for one, welcome our new alien overlords. I think this is a good time for a movie pass to come back. I do. Now, listen, movie pass is one of the greatest scams in history. When the new company took it over, I think it was called Helios was the name of the company, I believe. When they took over movie pass, they ran that thing around. They turned it into a, not a pyramid scheme, but rather what's sort of a, a hustle. And they tried to shake down using black, they literally overtly didn't even try to pretend it was something else. They tried to blackmail movie theaters and studios said, Oh, look at this. We got uh, 10 million subscribers. Be a shame movie theater chain. If we suddenly told our subscribers, they'd have to go to your competitor to use the thing there, unless you play ball with us and give us a cut of your popcorn sales. I mean, it was ridiculous. It was completely unsound economically. And we said forever, this is going to get run into the ground and it ran into the ground. So why am I enthusiastic about the idea that movie pass could make a comeback? I think it's because of this with all the different movie theater chains kind of now, at least if they haven't done it already, then the process of offering their own loyalty programs, AMC of course has a list. I love a list. Mm -hmm. uh, Regal has their unlimited Regal yep. unlimited, which isn't really unlimited, but they call it, but it's a nice name. Regal unlimited Cinemark has their own membership program. Uh, I believe Alamo draft house introduced their own membership program, all that kind of stuff with all them. The one problem of course, with all those loyalty programs is that they are specific to the one chain. And what happens if you have several movie theaters you like to go to? I think there is a place in the market for a product like a movie pass, if and only if they can come up with a sound business plan, a sound economic model that makes it realistic that number one, it can be useful to a consumer and number two, actually make their company money and not be a zero sum game. That's just going to drive them back into bankruptcy. And without any details, we can't see if we can't say that they've accomplished that or not. But I'm going to be very, very interested to see what kind of details they've come up with. Because again, I think in principle, a product like a movie pass properly run with proper rules, I think it could be beneficial whether they can make it happen or not. I'm not sure. Rob, I'm going to go on a limb and guess you're a little bit more dubious about this than me. What do you think about this announcement? Well, I'm not going to be saying we few, we happy few, we band of <laughs> brothers anytime soon because... I had, I was gifted a movie pass. Oh, that's right. You know, yes. I had a full annual movie pass pass for the year and it worked for about two and a half months. Then they started telling me I couldn't go to movies that I was going Certain to. movies, yeah. You know, Scotty once said in a Star Trek episode, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. That's pretty much where I'm at with movie pass. I'd much rather have the loyalty programs at the theaters. AMC A-list is great. And and look, uh, the idea of movie pass was great. It was Terrific. But even when I first got my movie pass, I'm like, how are they going to make any money with this? Especially, well, now that they don't have their unlimited tier, 
I just don't believe them. You know what? If in a year they're still here and people are like, this is great, then I'll be an adopter. But until then, no. Now, I do want to remind everybody that this is the CEO and owner who was the CEO of MoviePass when it was working, before it went to Helios and everything went I to know. hell. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work now, though. Hey, if they sponsor this show, <laughs> they'll be a much more enthusiastic. I'll sign then all up of a sudden, there's going to be RMB voiceovers yeah, going with MoviePass. Welcome to MoviePass. <laughs> and hey, it should be pointed out, everybody. It should be pointed out that another big change they announced. They ain't going to use red anymore. It's going to be a black card. So Ooh, they're even trying to visually luxurious. separate themselves from the previous ownership that ran it into the ground. The closest anyway, I'm ever going to get to that kind of AMX. <laughs> Chris, are you going to be getting in line on September 5th to join the wait list to get your movie pass? No. Uh, much like Rob the whole time with movie pass, I was like, okay, I don't believe you. Like, I just never signed up for them. And it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. And it makes me think of Creedy and V for Vendetta of why won't you die? Yeah. Well, beneath this movie pass is more than flesh. It's an idea. <laughs> like, I don't understand how this keeps coming back. At the end of the world, it's going to be Roaches, Keith Richards, and this thing. <laughs> how is this still a thing? What is our timeline currently? I don't understand. The thing is, they haven't done anything in my mind to apologize for the fact that a relative of mine spent over a hundred dollars for me to get this gift that didn't that worked for about two months. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, again, it needs to be pointed out that the people who did that are gone. No, I, I know, but <laughs> right. I but the concept. I mean, I think what they should have done is there's no there's no. I don't think that this brand has any loyalty in its name. Right. They should have called mm. it something else. You know, here's the thing. I, that's one of the questions I was struggling with because I get it. Recognizable IP is gold right but is it gold when the name is movie pass and that's an interesting thing I, I still remember the worst example like I, I yeah i was like everybody else where i had my ten dollar unlimited a month movie pass and every once in a while i try to go to the theater and for every once in a while it just wouldn't work but i remember the most egregious thing that i ever saw was when i believe the two movies and people in the live chat correct me if i'm wrong i believe the two movies were um, the Bruce Willis Death Wish remake. Right. Uh, that was directed by... Who, e Eli Roth. Eli Roth directed that. And the Jennifer Lawrence Redbird, Sparrow Bird, yeah, uh, Mocking Sparrow. Sparrow. What was it? Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow. I knew it was red and there was a bird in there somewhere. Right. I remember those two movies were coming out on the same week, on the same weekend, right? And I noticed on my Movie Pass app a few days before these two movies came out on the same weekend that when you loaded up the movie pass app, the death wish remake had bought some advertising on the movie pass app. So you'd load up movie pass app and say, don't forget this weekend, death wish, Eli Roth, Bruce Willis, blah, blah, blah. Right. So that weekend I decided to go see red Sparrow. Guess what movie they blocked? Not, 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 not a technical problem, whatever they blocked Red Sparrow. And I was like, wait a minute. Did they literally just say, hey, if you buy marketing with us, we won't let our millions of subscribers go see the competitor's movie. Did they really just do? That's when it was just, when you realize that they weren't just incompetent, they were vilely evil. Yeah. Like, and it was crazy. So can they make a comeback? Again, I think something like this, there is a place in the market for it if it can be done right. But can it be done right? I, I don't know the answer to that question. We'll find out soon. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? Are you already marketing down in your Google calendar? What was it? September 5th. Get in that digital virtual waiting line. To Crash in the, the internet. Crash in that internet. <laughs> like your end game tickets going on sale. <laughs> to be one of the lucky few to get a movie pass. Trials. I don't know. Whatever you guys think. Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Me Undies. Now, guys, we've all heard of gut instinct, but have you ever heard of butt instinct? It's when your butt tells you it wants new undies. Listen to your butt. Luckily for you, we work with Me Undies, makers of the most buttery, soft, and sustainable undies, bralettes, and socks that exist. Guys, for too long, I lived my life wearing those Amazon or Walmart 20 pack cheap underwear that I thought were just fine until I tried Me Undies 
undies. Now it's like my nether regions are in a Palm Springs resort. So guys, let your skin sing a song of joy with undies, socks, and bralettes that feel as if they're spun from silken clouds. Guaranteed to be the softest stuff you've ever felt in your life, their signature micromodal fabric is sustainable, breathable and stretchy as heck. Available in sizes extra small to 4XL, they have new colors and prints dropping weekly, so there's always something exciting to check out. Try out their free-to-join membership for free shipping on every order and exclusive perks, like an item shipped to your door every month, secret sales, and early access to their newest stuff. MeUndies has a great offer for all John Campy Show viewers and listeners. For any first-time purchaser, you get 20% off, plus free shipping and returns. To get 20 percent off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Campia. That's MeUndies.com slash Campia.